Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about flood coolant again, except this time we're just going to talk about the coolant. So what you're looking at here is Coolmist 77, and I've been using this for almost three years. As of November 2016, um, I'll have had my flood coolant set up for three years. And this is the second jug that I've bought, uh, which means I've used a gallon and a half, about a half gallon a year. And uh, I use about a half gallon uh, in my sump, depending on, you know, however big your sump is, I guess. Um, and I really like it. I've actually had really good luck with it. I know a lot of guys that have used it and have gone away from it have said they're getting better results. And that recently happened to a friend of mine, Chris, and he has been <laughs> hassling me to get rid of the cool mist and adopt the coolant that he's going with. So let me say up front, it's not Qualichem. I know a lot of the YouTube guys and Instagram guys are using Qualichem. I've already looked into it for my local distributor. Uh, I can get a five gallon bucket for about $250. The reason why I don't want to use Qualicam, frankly, is I don't want to tie up $250 in an inventory that's going to take me 10 years to consume. And also, I don't want to have another five-gallon bucket kicking around. Uh, it's not like I have an unlimited amount of space. So I like buying these small-gallon jugs. Now, the Cool Mist you can get from littlemachineshop.com. That's where I buy it. And it's 40 bucks plus shipping. It's probably about 50 bucks a gallon. The stuff that I'm going to be using, I get from Amazon. It's not Prime eligible, but you can get it for $35 a gallon shipped, uh, at least in the U.S. So it's actually cheaper than the Cool Mist gallon per gallon. Now, it's not cheaper overall. The Cool Mist requires four gallons, uh, or I'm sorry, four ounces per gallon, uh, although I mix it about five ounces per gallon just so I don't have rusting issues. And the, uh, the stuff that I'm going to show you here in just a minute uh, requires about 10 ounces per gallon. So I used almost the entire gallon in this sump. So before I forget, one thing I want to show you, uh, this is a shot of my sump with the cool mist in it. And you can see it, it should be really, really full, but I haven't been using my mill all that much. And we get a lot of evaporation where I live. Uh, it's very dry here. And so the water level is always really low. So I was actually kind of waiting for it to eva evaporate before I changed it out. You can see on this Tormach tramp pillow, all of the oil, uh, the tramp oil that was on top of the coolant when I picked up that pillow, it all kind of swung underneath and clung to the bottom of the pillow. So pretty gross looking, but the reason why I point this out is it doesn't look to me like there's any bacteria growing in, in the cool mist. And that's one thing I like about it. Um, if you think you see bacteria here, uh, go ahead and comment, but it doesn't smell like funk. It doesn't look like anything's growing on it. Uh, it just seems like gross oil. So uh, it's not really a big deal from that perspective. So things that I like about the Cool Mist, uh, I like the color. It's transparent, so you can see to the bottom of the tea slots on your table. Uh, it's got a very nice odor. It's it's actually quite pleasant. Uh, it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, the price is pretty good. Uh, you can get it in one gallon availability. Oh, what, real quick while we're talking about that, uh, John Saunders he actually sells these 12 ounce samples of Qualichem for 20 bucks. I figured it out and it would be about a hundred dollars to do my sump. So it just didn't make sense. That's why I'm going with the, uh, with the, with the new stuff that I chose. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Some people have told me that you can get Qualichem by the gallon. I haven't found that to be true. If you know where to get it, um, send me a link and I'll put it in the description. Uh, let's see here. The cool mist doesn't eat my paint. I've got a high quality oil-based enamel in my pan. No problems there, and it doesn't rust uh, or stain my my machine. Now, one thing I will show you here is it does seem to turn aluminum brown, and this is a a part that I started machining. Actually, when my very first when my factory motor burned up, I was making a thing that I never finished, and this is it. And you can see, well, it's actually kind of hard to see in the video, but there's this brown haze on the aluminum. And if you were holding it in your hand, you would say, oh yeah, that's definitely brown, and apparently that's the cool mist. So my buddy Chris has talked to me into going with a different coolant. It's actually called cool, right? 2290. And I know it's spelled K O L just like the cool mist 77, but they're not the same company. Uh, cool mist and cool, right? It's just an unfortunate coincidence. The cool, right? You have to mix it much, uh, much higher concentration than the cool mist. And it's this nice brownish color, but once it's mixed, it turns white. So it looks like Qualicam or a lot of the other kind of big boy, uh, you know, machining lubricants, coolants, uh, it looks like milk. <laughs> so 
I've already uh, been playing around with it. I've got some results. I let it dry on my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin, and it actually feels less sticky than the cool mist. So I do like that. Uh, I don't really like the odor quite as, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not as pleasant as the cool mist. And probably because I just mixed it today, but every time I open the door and walk into my shop, it really smells like coolant in there. Uh, other things I can say about the cool, right? The lubricity is so much better. So let me show you some pictures. Well, these aren't really that good, but here's some face milling. I did, uh, this is a face mill with the cool mist. And then the second one is with the cool, right? And they don't really look all that different, but I'm telling you the cool, right? is glass smooth. Uh, face mills tend to do a little bit of smearing and they don't give you quite the same mirror-like finish you could probably get with a uh, fly cutter. And I could take some of the inserts out of my face mill. I wasn't going to do that for this video. But trust me, way, way smoother. And as a matter of fact, I did another test and I don't have a picture of it. The difference between cool mist and cool right was greater than the difference between no coolant and cool mist. So no coolant to cool mist, some improvement, cool mist to cool right, huge improvement. Uh, it's pretty surprising. I've also got some footage at the very end of the video that I'm going to show you where I do some deep pocket machining. Uh, it's a 3 8 two flute end mill and uh, high speed still. I machine a slot an inch and a quarter deep and then this is the part that I cared about. I take a finish pass, a 15 thou, all the way around the slot and the long spindly chips came right out. Uh, with the cool mist, I just never felt like it lubricated that well. And chips would tend, long spindly chips down in a pocket would tend to pack up. And the cool right, oh my gosh, the chips just came right out. It, it was really surprising. So I have to say, other than the scent not quite being as good, everything else about the cool right is better than the cool mist. So if you are thinking about leaving cool mist, or if you're thinking about getting into flood coolant, uh, two thumbs up for the cool, right? I don't think you can go wrong. And uh, let me cut to that video. You can watch it and I'll see you guys in the next one. 